Alright, hello everybody. Um, we have the Tekken XVF or VFX Tekken uh, DLC today. And hopefully, uh, I'm going to try to get into a session with uh, Dennis Ochoan and Onja. So, um, it's been quite a few days since I've played, but uh, pretty excited to play tonight. Um, I actually do want to get some cleaning done tonight, but, uh, but I felt like I needed to at least celebrate the, the DLC. Uh, VFX Tekken, which I really like. Um, but let's see how it goes. Let me see here. First off, let's uh, fix our Twitch settings. I need to use my computer for that. But I hope everyone's been having a very good uh, week. Hope everyone's had a good had a good Memorial Day if you're in, in the U.S. And then. Um, also, I hope some, uh, I know some Tekken fans have been, been happy to see this pack, so I am as well. Alright, so let's do this here. Knock yourself down for Virtua Fighter. I've been playing a lot of Catalyst Black lately. I am pretty good in that game. So, uh, it does happen to be made by a company I really like, but, um, but I really do like the game a lot. Like, it's really addictive. Um, so anyways, let's see. We're waiting to see if, uh, if I get an invite. I'm going to check that right now so I get the blue screen. Oh, there it is. Alright. Alright, and we are in the room. I like uh, Leon using the Lee skin, so I'm wearing that Lee costume on right now. Um, I do have it set to Tekken UI and Tekken Soundtrack. So, we'll go ahead and give them the chance to play each other since I interrupted their session. I guess I'm not ready. I'm not warmed up at all. Ready, go. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. Stuff is not loose. I'm so not used to this uh, life bar. <laughs> I'm not used to the Tekken interface at all. That color is gonna get me. That red zone. He's anticipating evade. Let's get it warmed up. God, I'm so not used to both the costumes and also the UI. I'll get used to this. But welcome to the chat. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, welcome to the stream. To be strong is beautiful. And I am not used to this costume at all. I'm not used to seeing Armor King. Like, I forget what character I'm fighting against. <laughs> Didn't have this trouble with, with the Yakuza costumes, but I'm having trouble with the Tekken costumes. It's really... Um, I prefer it this way. I prefer that it's purely cosmetic, it's not a new character in the game because that would just throw the balance out of whack, make the gameplay weird, and we would be hearing way too many complaints about a broken character. But, um, so I'm glad that they're doing it pure cosmetic, but man, it really throws you in for a loop when you're, when you're playing VF and you're seeing the Tekken character across, you gotta remind yourself it's VF. <laughs> But hey Chris, how are you doing today? What have you been up to? And uh, hope you had a good Memorial Day. It's so disoriented for me. <laughs> Yeah. 
See, you came in the room. Awesome. General Ripper, excellent. We're gonna see the Lars God costume. I'm gonna forget that I'm fighting against Kage. Alright, Undeft's playing Leifei. Right. Oh, there it is. Oh boy, now I gotta remember that I'm fighting Wolf. Let's do it. Oh, he howls like a wolf. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> let's see if I can do this. Drug. I'm so confused with the Tekken interface, but I'll get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Round three. Ready? Go. Knockout. <sighs> Oh, nice. Man, Turbo Express is awesome. I always wanted one, now I've got an analog, but I hope I can get the Turbo Converter. So weird. So weird playing with Tekken characters. <laughs> just like, I'm just, my brain is just not, was not ready for this. get used to this. It looks really good. I think it looks good. It sounds good too. But it's so disorienting because it's like it's beyond uncanny value. You're like which game am I playing? <laughs> hey good to see you Retro. How are you doing? Hope you had a good uh, Memorial Day weekend and really good. To, hope you're having a good week. Alright General Ripper are they gonna do the Nope, they're Type C. They're not Lars. Okay. Round one. Ready? Go. <laughs> well, thanks for checking in on me. Not playing so hot tonight. <laughs> my my brain hasn't gotten used to the um this uh, seeing Tekken characters in my VF yet, but I really like it. I think it looks good. But it's a good time to work on my wolf matchup as well. So. Yeah. Here you go, Ripper. <laughs> it's, def it's got uh, an, an, it's got an effect that's very similar to the Uncanny Valley. Yeah. Your, your brain's doing like a double take on everything. But at least for me. Uh, Dennis seems really well uh, used to it though. So. 
<laughs> yeah. Now you don't blame me at all. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, um The soundtrack is neat, but I, I really wish it was like a greatest hit soundtrack of Tekken, because I really like the soundtrack from earlier Tekken games more. Um Maybe the middle Tekken games are the ones I like the most, you know, probably like from three until you know, three until somewhere around six or five. But um of course, Tekken Tag's where I remember, remember the most tracks. Hey, thank you very much, David Blaine. <laughs> Tonight's gonna be interesting. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna feel tonight, but I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna have fun, so. This match is really good down between your brain gunners. I think Tekken Tag had the best out of the Tekken soundtracks. Um, I actually think that like, I would like to Tekken... I like Dub Dub and I do like EDM, but if um, if there was a clean version of the Tekken 7 soundtrack, you know, with like, less of the distortion layers, or at least a cleaned up version of those layers, I think I'd really like the Tekken 7 soundtrack a lot more. That's just me though, you know, I'm just being an old man. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, if there's like a critique I have, it's just that uh, the distortion filters or layers just st stand out a little much, you know. Yeah, I like distortion. I'm not against distortion, but in the Tekken 7 soundtrack, it, it feels like they're laid on top of it, <laughs> you know. To me anyways. No, you know, no offense to the musician. Yeah, Den Dennis is really killing it. <laughs> Oh, sweet. We're going to have the Elisa battle. We're going to have Elisa. Yep, Elisa battle. Elisa versus Marduk. Awesome. Dennis does like Marduk. So this is going to be an awesome looking match. Round one. Hey, Emery. Good to see you. Th oh, thank you very much for the raid. Um, today, everybody should focus on Dennis 0201, one of the strongest players in the country. Definitely one of the strongest on the West Coast, but also one of the strongest in the country, period. And we're all having fun with the Tekken, um, with the Tekken DLC. Own Jeff is a really good player. They are mainly a Tekken player, but they they really love VF also, and they're really good at VF. So, thank you so much, Retro. And uh, oh yeah, Emery, um, hope you had a great stream. I need to watch the archive. I think it's awesome. I do think it's cool that they went with Lars Fukage. I thought it would be Yoshimitsu for sure, but I'm glad they went with Lars. Scarf? Actually, yeah, they should have. They should have done a scarf, because Ka Kage even has a scarf. That's a good point. <laughs> I, I wish they would do multiple costumes, because Go could be Dragon Elf, and Go could be. Go is fine as Brian, though. Yeah. Hey Harley, good to see you. Feel free to, uh, I don't know if you know Own Jeff well, but you can send him a message and ask him for an invite. Or you can join, I think I can send you an invite. Let me see. Again, thank you very much for the raid, Emery, or uh, Michael, so, <laughs> Mr. Reigns, Mr. Emery. Uh, let's see here. All that damage. <laughs> what is this? So, as, as I was telling others, it's, uh, for me, it's a little disorienting seeing the Tekken characters, but I'll get used to it. Just another costume. Harley, have you have you picked up this DLC? Or, I don't know if you're into Tekken though, but I see. Uh, it might have to be from um, Own Jeff. So if you know Own Jeff, have them send you the invite. I think the invite from me might not work. So. Round five. Ready, go. Yeah. 
Are there Tekken stickers? There are not. That'd be awesome if they did have Tekken stickers, though. Oh boy, wish me luck. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, I do like the Leon costume, I'm just not used to the Tekken uh, UI. Really? <laughs> Round two. Ready, go. The opening timing feels so different because of the man, like the the ready go. It just feels so different. Beats that, of course. Low punch back dash still works. He was at the right range. Splash Mountain on me. Set down for <laughs> I'm okay with it, but I I do think it should have been lucky, Chloe. But if they ever do bring out all the final showdown costume pieces, then you can make lucky Chloe out of um out of Eileen's costume parts. Sweet, we got crazy drunk in here. All right, you guys get to see a lot of good SBF tonight. If anybody has any questions on VF, feel free to ask. Um, this is a really good, strong group that we got in here tonight. <laughs> Round one. Ready, I, I, I like the lucky, lucky Chloe. My daughter would play it more. <laughs> but I know. Lucky Chloe is, uh, some people really hate her. <laughs> Just on design. <laughs> But I did see uh, the Emery Reigns video where he got tilted on Tekken, so hey, um, in this game, this version of, uh, of Elisa cannot take her head off. <laughs> so. It's not like a, an air dasher. <laughs> Yeah, it, it totally should be Lucky Clay, 100%. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, it, it, it's flat out the move, every the move list, everything, right? But some some people are really disappointed that uh, Pi is Lily instead of um, Ling. You know. I really do like this Marduk costume on Jeffrey. I think it looks great. Round <laughs> three. Ready? I well, I think to me it makes sense because uh, partly because the move list, partly because they have similar roles in in design and game. Um, Leife is kind of the Eddie Gordo of EF, so. And that's and I'm fine with that because Eddie even Eddie Gordo and Leife both don't bother me in either game. So. Kage is Lars. I wish that I, I agree with Emery Reigns that I wish that they had kept the scarf. Um, I do like it being Lars. I thought they would go with Yoshimitsu, so I'm, I'm glad they went with Lars though. But I really wish that they would have multiple costumes per character. A lot of characters could. Um, can represent different Tekken characters. I'm surprised how much the UI is messing with my eyes, though. Also, the UI messes with my opening. The opening just feels way different to me because for that little change in graphic style. Yeah, yeah, R Ripper is using Type-C uh, costume. Very nice. Oh no conversion. He could have he could have gotten an extra hit, I think. Not 100 percent sure. But because of the wall hit, I think he was able to get one tiny little hit extra. Nice. Dennis is well is very much used to that from the side. Kage's um, two hit string which like can be guaranteed. Alright, awesome, Harley. Enjoy Persona, and um, good to have you here. They they're messing up my mind, <laughs> but I I like them though. All right, so all right, we got Eileen again, or we've got uh, Eileen as Elisa. So. But she's not gonna pop her head off, <laughs> or or go, you know, to the air dasher. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if I she shot rockets. I mean, um, you've got angel wings and whatnot, so it's okay to have the jetpack. I think because Own Jeff plays a lot of tech, and I think their brain is really screwed up by the costumes. <laughs> I mean, Jeffrey doesn't really screw you up that much because it still looks like Jeffrey. Wolf really messed me up as Armor King, though. The next match is the one to really watch though, like cra Crazy Drunk is going to come in. Crazy Drunk does like Tekken also, so I'm, I'm hoping that they're using this, that they got the DLC pack. Very nice conversion. Yeah. I, I really think that Akira should be Paul. <laughs> um, just because the move, there are some, Paul has some moveless accidents. Yeah. Well, at least he can crouch dash. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yes, 
We're going to see the Lei Wulong. <laughs> we do have Tekken 7 costume on, on Crazy Drunk. And we should expect it because Crazy Drunk was a, virtu a Tekken player before a Virtu player. Nice. Probably true. I, I'm not feeling messed up by the Shun costume either. Or the Lei costume. Knockout. We're all getting used to the Tekken now. I, I feel like everybody's a step slow tonight. So. Like, De Dennis isn't even doing his footwork, so. <laughs> And he's got the most notorious uh, movement in North American Virtual Fighter. Oh, that would have been beautiful if you got that. He is the Terminator, but tonight everybody is uh, <laughs> getting used to their Tekken goggles. Oh, look at that perfect on the, the... The UI for perfect is nuts. Thing was bright as hell. Alright, let's see if I can... I don't even want to kill you. Let's see if I can make a mark. I don't know if I can. Hey numbers, um, send a message to Own Jeff if you want to join us. Uh, Own Jeff is the host of the room. See if I can think straight. Round four. Ready? Go.
Good game. I thought I teched that. Is that good? It must be a combo. <sighs> I'm gonna get a drink. This restaurant will be right back. Crazy drunk is on the terrace. Well, um, that's all. You know, people are people. It's human nature, and uh, some people rage quit. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't. But yeah.
ぎるでないぞ。Hey assassin, how you doing? <laughs> oh, I feel the hack.、Uh, yeah, when people rage quit, it, it can be very annoying, I understand.、Uh, I, when, when my opponents rage quit, I take it as a compliment. Maybe not an intentional one, <laughs> but I take it as a compliment. <laughs> so, <laughs> Shun is awesome. I, I like Shun. Shun's a very complicated character, but. and、um, very strong in this game. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen、um, Jean as Jin yet, but,、um, but I know that Jean as Jin looks really weird on the trailer for me because the face looks slightly different. Yeah, it's backhanded, but still a compliment, <laughs> you know. We are fighting after all, so if, if they're angry, I guess I'm doing something right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Nina is Sarah, but Sarah with,、um, in, the wedding, in the wedding dress. I do like that they made Leifei、uh, Eddie, Eddie Gordo. I, that one actually does make sense to me, even though it's weird, but、uh, they're similar. They are like string based、uh, characters that require the opponent to have a little more knowledge than normal to, to handle the matchup. Oh, yeah, well, Crazy Drunk is like the most complete、uh, shun in,、uh, in the Western world, in my view. They have the most complete shun. They play shun in all different areas of the game. You know,、um, Denkai has an, an awesome shun as well, but it. His shun looks way more mechanical. <laughs> Whereas with Crazy Drunk, it looks like you're fighting with Drunk and Kung Fu 100%. He'll use everything of shun. Alright. It really is weird looking at Kazuya. And forgetting that you're fighting Akira.、Uh, I can just feel that right now, just watching. I haven't fought it yet. Like, I'm gonna get so confused when I fight against Akira. Yeah. Except that Claudio might actually sound more Italian. <laughs> Brad doesn't sound Italian at all, <laughs> doesn't even sound Italian American. <laughs> Man, I, I forget like, how,、um, how firm and stiff that the Sandux V3 is. I do like Steve, I like Bruce, I like any of the. I wish he had multiple costumes.
Nice. Alright, he did. And it's not ready for his son. <laughs> Lee is awesome. Lee is awesome unless you're watching Lee and um Man, crazy drunk left? Okay. Unless you're watching Lee in uh whatchamacallit? In Tekken 4 and watching him go around the octagon like five times for a combo. Right, right. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I like this costume pack. It's just gonna be a long time to get used to it. The UI is the most confusing part, actually, more than the character. The things that happen with the UI is that um, my timing feels very different for round start, and VF is timing sensitive on the round start. It's like you, there's no buffer, um, or there's no buffer before the before go, and then. Um, also, just the life bars, just that uh, change to red at the end really messes me up. Because I'm so used to reading the normal life bars. Or any of the other two life bars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> the, like, just watching just watching Akira Kazuya was really weird for me. So, that, that one was nuts. Yeah, so right now I'm using the Tekken UI, right? So you can see that the round three, ready, go. It's a little different. Then you look at the life bars and they're different. And also, if you get a perfect, that would see, there you go, the perfect. It's so big and bold. Like, scared me the first time I saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I am glad that they gave Taka a bomb. I thought that was cool. <laughs> Round one. Ready, go. Yeah, definitely enjoy the whenever Crazy Drunk does his wall combos. He's got like two variations. What do you guys think of the soundtrack? Oh, man, greatest hit soundtrack would have been so cool. Maybe there's a secret way to access it. <laughs> Like, I would love to have, you know, Tech and Tag League. Like, I like the Tech and Tag Zayu soundtrack. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of the Tekken 7 soundtrack, but I think I would like it more if there was a clean cut of it. Um, but whenever I've critiqued it, the funny thing is everybody will respond, you know. But, but Infinite is here. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, I like the Infinite is here too. <laughs> but. But, uh, but man, if it had old school Tekken soundtrack or greatest hits, that would just be sick. But the Tekken 7 soundtracks, like, really get some people all going. Doing some of the energy on it, so. Yeah. 
but I feel like some of the older, like this stage, an older Tekken track would have matched it way more, right? Cheap stage seconds. I totally forgot about that. Yes, <laughs> they should. They should have put the sheep stage in this in this pack. <laughs> have us kicking sheep all over the place. <laughs> Tech, yeah, Tekken Tag soundtrack is one of my favorites. Well, it is my favorite Tekken soundtrack. So there's just too many tracks that are like. That are just forever stuck in my head, and when I think of Tekken, I hear the Tekken te tag soundtrack. All right, here we go. Who's ready for Paul? It's Paul. Paul versus Lei. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Daki as Lee would be good. It would actually fit, like, visual. It would look really cool, actually. But I'm happy that, Le that Leon got Lee, because I think it's, it's such a good-looking costume. Yeah, right, right now, Daki as Paul kind of looks like Vanilla Ice with blonde, right? With blonde Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Especially with that US flag. You have to give him that. <laughs> the, head, the vanilla ice head shake. <laughs> That's true. Nice. Oh, he didn't convert though. Actually, I agree with you. I'm s would have been nice if they had made her darker for Master Raven. Uh, he thought it was gonna hit the wall. I thought it was gonna hit the wall too. Hey, Quincy, good to see you. We're enjoying the Tekken DLC. Um, it's disorienting, but it's cool. Like, I like it. Um, the UI really confuses me, and the, um, the characters confuse me too. So I'm, I'm still getting used to it. I am really out of it, so don't be surprised if I get like rocked pretty bad. But it is Jackie. Jackie's a little easier for me to feel really with. I was gonna hit him with that. Okay. The um, I'm starting to get used to the timing at round start.
Alright. Thanks a lot, Hag. Thank you. Thank you very much. Forgot to train, eh? Yay, we got to see how violent looks. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Oh. I I hope they continue dead or alive. That would be great. I will if they do a dental life seven, I promise I'll, I'll give it a real search shot. Yep, never do that against Kanye. Alright, Kung Fu is weak. Alright, come on. Hey, mister, how you doing? I thought I forked that. Yeah, it's Kage. Good game. Hey Paul, good to see you. Uh, if you want to join the room, you gotta ask um, Own Jeff. He can send you an invite. Yay, Paul's in here. That's awesome. I'm happy that you're in here, Paul. Really happy that you're in here. Man, Dennis had to go good night. version is great it's uh a lot of us still play it when we play offline so though the timing is a little different it runs a little faster but it, it feels like the same basically hey nelly how you doing good to see you man hope you had a good uh memorial day Nice. 
I'm starting to get used to the Tekken interface. Still, still uh, different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that, Mister. At least it shows up on the PlayStation's uh, uh, parser. <laughs> but I do miss your I, I do miss your Final Showdown Wolf. It's definitely one of the coolest costumes. But also Nelly's like freaking African goddess Vanessa is also amazing from Final Showdown. So when when we finally get the Ultimate Showdown version, that'll that'll be so awesome to see. Yep, you can do that. Yes. Round two. Ready, go. Nice trap. Yeah, just trying it out for now, but I'll put it back on VF Music later. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, mister. I, I really wish that, you know, we've said it already, but I wish that they used the greatest hits of Tekken anthology for the soundtrack. Tekken 7's not my favorite soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> The, the thing that I don't like is actually the distortion layer. I feel like if the distortion layer was replaced with a clean layer, I'd actually like this soundtrack quick. I'd give it two more points <laughs> on, on rating for any track that like switches to a clean version. It's funny because, you know, like dubstep had already had already gone through its phase and then they're like, you know, let's... <laughs> Let's make it sound like some random YouTuber's dubstep, you know? <laughs> it's like, there's really good dubstep, you know? Um, I'm, I really like, uh, like, I really like Grizz and uh, the DJ Grizz. And I really, really, really like, uh, man, how can I forget the name? Oh, I really like Grammatic a lot. And so Grammatic and Grizz are DJs that I really enjoy listening to. Um, and when they go dubstep, it's really good, but, yeah, and, and you know, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, bad dubstep definitely sounds like the Pepto-Bismol of EDM, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> it's like somebody decided to go Pepto-Bismol with it. <laughs> All right, rest well, Hag, and thank you very much. Thanks for coming in today. Round two. Ready, go! Nice. Awesome. I'm glad you're having an awesome time with that. It's good. VF4 is awesome. Ready, go. Excellent. I'm happy to hear that. I'll try it soon. Oh, that was nice sequence. He read that round pretty well. Paul plays kind of like the way I traditionally play. He'll he'll play with like a full scripted round. It's not 100% scripted, but it's it's a very strong script. Oh, what the? F Let me see that. What? Yeah, okay. He got one peed. All right. Got one peed out. 
Uh, did you hop attack? That's what happened, right? Don't hop attack when you're... I do too. I make that mistake all the time. Don't hop attack when you're like in a ring out position, in the fence out position. Yeah, way Lu Lei Wu wrong. <laughs> been slow. No, the 2K is fast, that's right. It is. No, I love fighting uh, crazy drunks, Sean. Nice. So you like gave him a reverse heal into that forehead. <laughs> that wind pose looks even more nasty with that costume. Alright, have a good night, Shite. Thank you very much for stopping by.
I don't know if it's proof, but it would be, but I think it would be cool. I think Harada has worked with a lot of people on a lot of stuff, so I think um, that would be cool. I wish uh, Katagiri was still... Let's see what you can do. Uh, Katagiri is uh, one of the guys who worked with Sega a lot, and he's uh, one of the main guys in the Virtua Fighter for most of the Virtua Fighter series. See if I can find something very bad. So. Yeah, Daichi Katagiri is basically he's really the one responsible for making like modern VF. Um, and so like he worked in I think he started in VF2, and he was kind of like uh, working towards the balance, making the game more competitive, and uh, I, I can't remember the full details, but he's basically the mastermind of modern VF. Um, while Yu Suzuki is like the big guy in charge for the project, uh, Katagiri is the one who is really like pretty much the designer of, the, of these games. Especially like VF4 and onward, but uh, VF3 as well, kind of, like significant role. If I'm not mistaken, he's also really in charge of fighting vipers, but I can't remember. With Seiji? Not sure. But, there, if you look up, uh, it's not Seiji, but if you look up Seiji Katagiri, that's a mass murder. <laughs>
One point away from the uppercut of doom. I always think like I can hit him after that, after that flying head, but cannot. Some more water, I'll be right back. Round one. Ready, go.
victory! Ready, go! So we're almost in, we're basically in summer. Does anybody have any games they're looking forward to this summer?
in here. You can do it, Jeff. do like a low attack on that windmill so Eileen can do like the sweep combo you can also block and punish but it's a little, um, it's a if you have a if you have a low combo launcher Alright, 
Paul. Let's see what you got. Here comes the Kazuya versus Lei. Round one. Ready? Go! <laughs> Alright, we got Infinite Azure on Shun Stage. Everyone's, every Tekken YouTube video's favorite track. <laughs> Especially if you watch uh, Korean Backdash videos. <laughs> the combo videos. Did like a thing of four six P. I don't know. Man. Good game. All right, Andre had to go to bed. Good game, Paul. Good game. Rising attack from that range. So good. <laughs> uh, it is very, very power. It is uh, crazy drunk, and I both think it's like one of the best moves in the game. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I kind of think sometimes I think he needs it until he gets some drinks. <laughs> I'm just not playing smart at all today. I'm doing everything same. That's okay. We're playing Tekken Day. Nice. Come on, Nelly. Let's show us while it's done.
At least you got a little silver, but it's all made up for in the end of the round. Nice, good, good game, Nelly. That was an awesome game, Nelly. On the battlefield, you'd be dead. That was beautiful. Here's the kick Sabaki. I like them. Uh, so I like them. At first it was a little difficult because I would... My brain would get confused by seeing Tekken characters instead of Virtua Fighter characters. Um, but the UI probably gave me the hardest time. Because the life bars look different, but also like... The timing is the same, but it feels different because of the different animations at the opening round. And then when you get like a perfect, like it's so big and bright on the screen, it scared me the first time. But I like the costumes and I really like Leon's costume because since Leon is uh, Lee, I really like Leon's costume. Really good game you two, very good game. Yeah, I like, I like, uh, which one is the defense I want this one people is getting Nice.
guys. Thanks. I've got muscle memory when I fight Vanessa. <laughs> I like, I like this DLC, you know, it's only $10. I know $10 is a lot for some people, but uh, I think it's a really nice uh, thing and I'm happy to finance VF6 or VF6, <laughs> VF6 or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I like this, I like this DLC. Um, soundtrack's not completely gelling with me as far as in the VF setting, but I like it. I just wish it was, uh... That was so cool! <laughs> that was awesome. That was really awesome. I wish the soundtracks were was the greatest hits. Man, that's back there. Good game. Very good game. The hard part is, you know, Virtual Fighter is a really fast-paced game, so the Tekken 7 soundtrack, like, it's really slow paced for tech for for VF. <laughs> like the soundtrack starts getting good when the round's over. <laughs> you know, it's kind of thing. <laughs> So it's got like this slow build, you know? <laughs> so, so the pacing is a little different. But the old school VF soundtracks would totally work. So. Like I still want my tech and tech value music, you know? I want one with the replay that time. Oh, 
second time again. Alright, that happened again. Round three. Ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Those are still good games, good stuff. Paul's like trying to find interactions with, with Shun's moves. Very good stuff. Nelly's Revenge. Oh wait, Nelly won the last time. Crazy Drunk's Revenge. Sorry, Nelly. Round one. Ready, go! This actually kind of matches the, the soundtrack. For Taka. Knockout. Uh, it is pretty badass. It makes Brian even more like crazy, more psycho, and I like it. Game. And Nelly's showing everybody how Vanessa fights Shun. Wow. Alright, Nelly's gonna have their revenge.
kick in the eye. Good game, Paul. I'm glad we got to finally fight again. Uh, but I hope we get to play again soon. Thank you very much, Paul. Piece so good. Okay. Ready, go. Ooh, nothing that I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I need to prepare for 3 for you. It's really good. Good game. Good game crazy. Let me get a drink.
<laughs> That's so bullshit. I let go. That's also bullshit. Sorry, Nelly. <laughs> but you win anyways. <laughs> I see. Nice. So beautiful. Viewers, they were slow. <sighs> Sorry if a couple of those interactions like were upsetting. <laughs> but it was a really good game. It's a really good game. <laughs> but, but a couple of those interactions were beyond BS, so I, I know. So beyond 
<laughs> so, sorry about that. <laughs> Even I didn't expect some of those to work out the way they did. So, <laughs> and I'm used to, I know which ones to, that I usually can expect to rely on. Uh, always. I always forget. <laughs> uh, to save mid so your friends. I'm figuring out these what's gonna work or not. Minus two. Minus two. Good job. Good game. Good game crazy. It's a lot of fun. Jason, how you doing? <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm playing as hot tonight, um, but, uh, but everybody else is doing really well. My guess is, is that, uh, well, Crazy Drunk's been awesome with Leilu, with Lei, and um, Nelly is awesome with Raven. I'm guessing that Nelly likes the Raven costume, but wishes that wishes that she was a darker shade. <laughs> you know, you're like, can can you at least do that, right? Like <laughs> with this costume. <laughs> so. <laughs> Round three. I see. Ready, it is a pretty big go. patch. It's like three gigs. Um, I like it. The um. I've already said it a lot on the stream, but at first it was disorienting, um, just because the characters look so different, right? With the with the Yakuza costumes, they look they still look so much the same like their character, but maybe it's because they they look like Tekken characters that at first it just it's so disorienting and it was it was hard for me to play. Um, I would just be confused, especially when I fought Armor King Wolf, and then uh, the UI. The Tekken 7 UI, it's great, but it's different. So the timing at opening feel, took me a little bit to get used to the opening round timing um, because of that, because of the different animation. And the red on the life bar really threw me off for a bit. Also, when, it, when you get a perfect, it's so big and bold. I 
I, I did see a tweet on that, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> I do, I do like the the Armor King costume. It's really intimidating. Like he looks even larger with that costume on. Good game. <laughs> Forgot she has that many hits and streak. Good game. Good game, Ali. I think the I, I do think the Mardu costume looks great on, on Jeffrey. Lay's costume on Shun works. And that one is probably the one that doesn't that doesn't distract you. You still know that you're fighting Shun. <laughs> that would be nice if it was younger younger Lei. I I would say that Vanessa looks good with the Mardu, yeah. With, uh, like, I would have liked that, too. Because of the Valley Tito aspect, and, um... I totally did not expect Kage to be, uh, Lars. But, I like it. But I, I thought it was gonna be Yoshimitsu, right? Like everyone else. Actually, that could have been cool. Shun as Eddie Guado could have been really cool. <laughs> because of blonde, you know. Japanese are like, oh, blonde, yeah, put them together. <laughs> you know, I, I do think, like, Akira should be Paul, but, you know, that's me. So, I think they should have multiple costumes. Because there's some that can double up or triple up.
Oh man. Recover so fast that it's normal. Actually, evade does. Round three. Ready? Go. <sighs> I always, I always fall for that. It's not, you know, he's in costume as someone else. He's not in costume as Shun. <laughs> kind of has a beard, right? I think Lei now looks all... He looks like this, basically. Like, he looks so washed out. Actually, you're probably right. Like, Lei probably looks more like like he's got whiskers, but he doesn't. Might not have a full beard now. <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> Just... Like, Lei is very washed up in Tekken Seven. He's like super washed up. Same sequence. I always think like that 2K is gonna work, it won't work there. PK. So, so, so good to see you. Yay! I got, I got the BS through. 
That was so good. <laughs> Just evade and punish it. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> good game, good game. <laughs> I watch my inputs. I don't know when I'm recovering. <laughs> I don't know when my when my when my character is recovering from those pushes. Round one. That was a cool hand in the air. <laughs> Sorry. Kick is also one of the best moves in the game. <laughs> Round two. Ready, go. Uh, it's good to have you here, though, and I hope you will play more VF. But at the very least, it's good to have you on the stream. Evade to the front. Oh, that's so nasty. Crash that's 3P. Skull crack. It's like, if that doesn't sober you up, I don't know what will. Oh, so good. So, let's see how he does his Sabaki. Yeah. Right there. Round four. Ready, go. Nice, Nelly. Oh. Oh no. Psychic Sabaki was good, but man, that was a really cool match, but yeah, at the end there, I was just like, oh no. <laughs> the way he scales, he yells, what? What? Round one. 
Nice. I'm making all these movements here. Me too. I, I like the Tekken outfits myself. Uh, no, the room's not full. You can, uh, let's see. Whoops. Oh, I don't see you online. Okay. I think you can join by um, just on my on the friends list. You can join from there. Yeah, I have a feeling though that they might have just avoided Ling because it's either too obvious or maybe they felt that you could actually. Change the costume on Pi and make her look like Wing. <laughs> or, or that eventually you will. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, send me a friend invite, I'll add you. But I might be calling it soon tonight, so... So I need to do a, a catering really early in the morning. I'm going to catering very, really, really early. But tonight I wanted to do a stream because of the Tekken DLC launch. Um, I'm actually really tired. <laughs> and, and not, like... I'm not feeling my VF as much. Um, at least on some matchups. Like, I... I have to play... A match after I've been playing so much, right? So, yeah. But yeah. I look forward to playing again, Jason. Um, I think you've been play like I haven't seen your matches recently, but, but I I know that you've been improving too. As all, all of us have, but I mean I, I'm looking forward to seeing. Yep. And that's a the other way, but. Nice, good round. Ready, go. Man, back in the day when that failed evade would be a sight for four K. I love the costume for Leon.
thought I made the last one. Good game. That was intense. Thanks a lot, Nelly. That was an awesome game. Combo so nasty. So I just need to stagger break that one part. Okay. Good game. Bro! 
Round one. Ready, go! Ready, go! Nice. Oh, really? Awesome Savaki. That was a brilliant place. Round four. Ready, go! <sighs> so good. Confirms are on point. And Brilliant play by Nelly. Mission accomplished. All Western Vanessa players need to watch Nelly. I did have PKP though. I don't do PKP. Ready, go! Yeah. Yeah. I thought I evaded that last hit. Was it guaranteed? That might be guaranteed there. Okay. Nelly with those three last three hits guaranteed. After this evade kick.
Yeah, but no, they were guaranteed because I saw the recovery hits. Oh, okay, but anyways, uh, they were guaranteed because of the recovery hits. The blue flash is a side recovery hit. So he got a purple, which is a side counter hit, and then he got three punches in, and they were all blue. Yeah. Right. They kick and then jab string. Okay. But I can duck the punch, right? So the, the main... Can I? If, it's, if the first one was a blue, then I can't. Huh. Have to see. Oh, I don't know. It could be that just the last two were blue, but, but if they were, blue is like a side recovery hit though. Okay, but if he does a counter hit from the side um, of just normal kick. So, and I think it was defensive style. So kick, so plus four, no, that's tough. So plus four, yeah, that's not much. It wasn't that, it's a different move. How about offensive stance? No, that's the one you're talking about. Oh, huh, that's weird, I have no idea. Okay, let me know what you see, because I... Yeah. Round one. Ready, go! That's all. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. No, he'll never do that. To never do TKK when he's got Cho on. Yeah, hundred percent. That's why I really admire like what you do.
<laughs> this. I think Vanessa is an expert level character, and she does require precision. I'm able to take advantage of the, the having to commit so hard at long range, and then being able to range punish the low, the close range. And I think that that's why Leon has a good matchup against Vanessa, right? Um, it's still hard, but but I feel like Leon has an edge in that matchup. That's probably what it was. It could have been a, but yeah. Hey, Ice Wizard, I like the DLC a lot. Um, you know, Tekken 7 is not my favorite Tekken soundtrack, but it's what it is. But I like it. Um, Shun Stage does have infinite Azure, but it still feels weird, like playing that to VF. Um, this stage is kind of working. Um, the costumes took me a bit to get used to because they look like other characters, and so at first that was really hard. Like, like I, I just had trouble playing at first, and then. After that, the UI was hard at first. For maybe 30 minutes, it took me 30 minutes to get used to the user interface. Especially because of the red section of the life bar. Um, it doesn't seem like much, but it, it played with my mind for a bit. Um, it made it hard for me to tell what the life count was, even though it's obvious. And even though I do play Tekken, um, sometimes. The... What else? Um... The round start was tricky to get used to because the animation just kind of flows at a different... It's the same timing, but that animation just gets me. So, yeah. Even though it's just on go, you know? It was a little scary when I first saw Perfect because it's so big and bright. But yeah, that said, no, this, this DLC is cool. Um, I'm happy supporting Sega, and I like it. And Leon has an awesome costume, so I like the violet costume for Leon. It's really weird fighting Kazuya Akira, though. Like, it's really bizarre. Armor King Wolf is also really weird. Nice duck and punish. Oh, that was a cool round. Um, maybe during Challenge Cup, during the Challenge Cup thing. Um, Let's see. They didn't announce much. There was a tweet by Aoki-san, and I'm glad that he tweeted. But but Sega is watching, so I'm definitely gonna put out a big thank you for this one and celebrate the one-year anniversary tweet because I am really happy that Sega did this, and I want them to keep supporting it. But um, also, of course, these resources towards VF6. But, um, but I think they would feel encouragement if more players express uh, that they're happy, or at the very least that they're glad that VF is active. This is probably going to be almost the end of the night because I need to go to bed soon. But uh, Nelly and Shun, Nelly and Crazy Drunk can fight all they want, though. So let's see. Here's Infinite Desert. This is a nice lullaby for you know bedtime.
two hand spot. Damn. Round three. Ready, go. That would have been cool if that worked. I wish I hit. Yes. <laughs> so. I do think they'll make, um, I think there'll be more announcements though, just um, nothing too major for a while, but I think there'll be announcements. nasty since VF3, but <laughs> Nelly knows it though, first hand. Nelly used to do that to everyone.
thought I evaded that. Uh. Good games, good games, Ellie. Oh, thank you so much. I had a great time. Um, this is probably gonna be the last one for me as well. I love finding crazy junk, but I am really tired. <laughs> so, but thank you all very much. We'll see if we can rate someone too. I didn't. I don't even know who won yet. that it went I know that there was a fourth set and I think it went to tight I need to do the So glad to hear that. His, uh, but it seems like his foot's about to wear. It, it seems like he won't win this tournament, but I really hope he does. I hope he wins Roland Garros, but I, this is going to be a very tough one for him to win. But it's amazing that uh, that we had that semifinal, that quarterfinal. Ready, go. 
Welcome, but it's well deserved. <laughs> ah. Good night, Nelly. I'm gonna figure out stuff on Shun. I try. Thanks. Round one. I'll try Ready? that. Thanks a lot for the tips, Wolfie.
God, really? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. Alright, the meaty timing, you cannot... If meaty timing is done well, you cannot crush it. Can you? Can I be that good? Forgot to do the back. Leon's got special evade.
I let go of guard. I thought I got you that time. That was really good. I really thought I got you this PKT, eh? Is this a bug? <laughs> Where it like looks like I can't see the top the top person on the list, so it looks like I'm by myself. This will be the last one, Crazy John. Thank you so much. You've been amazing. <laughs> I, I was like, I bet he's gonna low punch, I'll hop over it. <laughs> Let's 
gonna be a sad one to be the last, but I'll make a fight. I'll try to fight. games. Thanks a lot, Crazy. That was a lot of fun. Ah, good stuff. Man, that was real honor. Let's see if there's someone to rage right now. But thank you every I want to thank everybody for watching tonight. I had a great time, and I do want to play more with Crazy. Um, I could play with him all the way till morning, but it would really wreck my um, my catering order tomorrow morning or in a few hours. So let's see here. But um, everybody's been awesome, and I'm glad that I started to wake up on my VF at towards the end there because I felt more awake against Nelly and. Crazy and start to see what I needed to work on. So that, that felt very good. Thank you, Nelly. Thanks for the advice, you guys. And um, yeah, I think, like, Nelly, your, your VF is really awesome. So I know something that's frustrating, but I, you know, I think against Vanessa, I feel like there's a way that I can play to kind of keep her in control of it. And so with the spacing. Um, and so I'm just more, I'm, I feel like I'm a little comfortable on some of the decision points there. But, like, you do a lot of really good stuff, and when you get hard reads, it's so scary. Uh, like, watching you use the high crushing elbow against Crazy was awesome. <laughs> you know? Like, when, when you would set him up for that, it was really good. And, um, because that's, like, such a high damage source for him, if you can do it. Yeah. Round um, three! Ready, go! Oh, let's see here. I, tonight, um, we'll send it to Ayuka. Another night I'll send it to Juice Box. I want to thank everyone again for such an awesome time. Um, I like the new DLC, and hopefully Sega will have some kind of announcement coming up for the one year anniversary. Um, not holding my breath for that quite yet, but I am expecting announcements towards, you know, eventually. Alright, let's go. Everybody wish Ayuka a good one. And, uh, also Juicebox is streaming King of Fighters, so yeah. Um, feel free to visit as well. Cheers, everyone have a good one. I'll see you soon.